Hi everyone, welcome to DraftScapes, I'm Chris Duccio. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about computer software programs, specifically which ones would be beneficial for your landscape business and the advantages and disadvantages of each, after this. Hi everyone, so if you're a fan of the channel, you know I'm a big proponent of hand drafting. Specifically, you know, putting together illustrative plans and perspectives on drafting paper for your clients or your academic studio projects. But, you know, there's a time and place and, you know, a necessity of knowing some landscape softwares, both for your professional goals and also for your academic studio projects. So, I want to take a look at some of the key ones that you should think about knowing, downloading, and trying out to see if they work for your professional or academic goals. So if I had to create a list of the four to five computer landscape programs that I think are essential for you to know as a landscape designer or landscape architect, uh, the top of the list would have to be AutoCAD by Autodesk. Um, it is really the most heavily used program within the construction industry. Um, landscape architects for a variety of firms use them, architects, civil engineers. You can pretty much do anything within the construction industry in using AutoCAD. It can do two-dimensional work and three-dimensional work. You can import and export drawings as a number of different files that communicate with other software programs very easily. So if there is one that you have to know uh, to sort of get a leg up in the landscape architectural field, make sure you're spending time getting proficient at AutoCAD. The advantages uh, of knowing AutoCAD will serve you uh, in not just landscape design and landscape architecture, but if you ever transition to a different industry, um, those skills in knowing that software will be with you there. So for the advantages of AutoCAD, there are many. However, there are some disadvantages as well. One of the main disadvantages for AutoCAD is it's a very expensive uh, program to download and license. So if you're a small garden design business and you work for yourself and you don't need a lot of the bells and whistles or three-dimensionality that AutoCAD offers, um, it might not be for you. Now, to test it out, there is a free trial and there's a student version that you can download. I'll make sure that the links are below uh, for you to check it out. But um, it might not necessarily fit your goals because you might not be communicating with civil engineers or irrigation designers or architects on a regular basis and so there's no need to seamlessly transition the software from one file to another. Another just disadvantage of AutoCAD is that it isn't specific to landscape design and landscape architecture. So what I mean by that is the plant library is not there. You have to build up your own database of plants and symbols and blocks in order to transmit them into AutoCAD for yourself. Now, online there are a variety of free, so um, free websites that can do this for you uh, that have blocks and symbols for landscape print purposes. Um, but you might not like them or they might not be appropriate for your specific garden business. So uh, AutoCAD might have a disadvantage for you there. It's not specifically made for the landscape architecture industry, uh, but that is sometimes an advantage if you want to communicate with other design professionals. Now AutoCAD, as I said, has a lot of advantages, but again, the final disadvantage that I would say from teaching AutoCAD quite a lot to a variety of students is that it is very difficult to learn for, uh, for new professionals. Um, it's very different than a lot of the other softwares people are familiar of or that are sort of intuitive because it's very command-based, especially when I first learned it over, you know, a decade and a half ago. It's very keyboard oriented, meaning that there is a command line and you can type in commands and you can do almost all of your drawing just on the keyboard itself without really using much of your mouse. Now, if you're used to that and those kind of shortcuts with uh, other programs that we'll talk about, then you might adapt to AutoCAD really well. Um, however, if you're unfamiliar with that, there's a learning curve there and almost a language that you have to learn and become comfortable with. And that hill might be a little too high to climb if you're only interested in dabbling, this, uh, dabbling in this for your business. The next software that I want to talk about is SketchUp. SketchUp is a three-dimensional modeling program. It's very good for doing uh, concept sketches with, and it's very intuitive to use. It's free, so 
uh, you don't actually have to pay to obtain a version and you don't need a trial version. You can uh, download the SketchUp from uh, sort of the free version of SketchUp from the, the website and again I'll link below and use it to your heart's content and print out images from it and use it to dimension things in real space. So it's very beneficial for that. Uh, some of the disadvantages of SketchUp is if you want some of the key rendering techniques to make more professional landscape images then you'll have to do uh, uh, SketchUp Pro or the paid version uh, in order to do that. Um, but the, I think the, the benefits really outweigh the disadvantages for understanding SketchUp because unlike AutoCAD you can do things very quickly, very fast and without a lot of training. Uh, within a couple days you can be a pro at SketchUp and you can actually animate things, you can uh, create material textures on things. You just can't get the fidelity that you would get with AutoCAD and you also can't get the dimensionality and the interchangeability of software compatibility with SketchUp. Now, a big disadvantage of SketchUp that, that I found is for garden design or for landscape design, again, the landscape library, the plant library is really lackluster, uh, much more so than even AutoCAD. Uh, in terms of three-dimensional plant blocks or groups that you can bring in as a three-dimensional model, there's really not a lot there that I found and if you want something you pretty much have to make it yourself which can be a very large endeavor if you're talking about creating a three-dimensional plant that you'll then use in multiple drawings. Also uh, because it's a three-dimensional software if you go with the pro version and you really like SketchUp you're going to definitely need a laptop that is compatible with rendering those types of three-dimensional models pretty well. So you want something with a good graphics card, a high RAM so that you can do that very quickly. An advantage of SketchUp, uh, to get to one more advantage, is that it also has a variety of plugins. So you can uh, render in the basic SketchUp and have the material library that SketchUp offers, or you can bring it in to some other three-dimensional um, softwares that some are free and some are uh, uh, not free, and you, you can get really good photorealistic renderings out of SketchUp that you wouldn't get from the basic free version that you would download. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some of those plugins and some of those other softwares later in the video because they're not necessarily softwares that you need to know for the landscape industry, uh, but they're sort of ancillary softwares that are, are nice to know about and maybe dabble in later on. So the first two um, softwares that we looked at uh, AutoCAD and SketchUp, um, they are not specifically made for the landscape industry, but a lot of landscape architecture professionals definitely know them. Uh, the next software that I actually think um, is very good for landscape professionals to know is Pro Landscape Software. Now, Pro Landscape Software is specifically made for more of the landscaping, landscape design, garden design professional. It will not be able to do a lot of the functionalities that AutoCAD does in terms of transferring plans to um, architects or uh, to civil engineers. It won't do topography, that kind of thing. But if you want to create a image, a plan, or a design for a typical single family residential property or a, a small site in a, a public or private space, uh, you can do so very quickly. Um, with a great level of detail for your clients. Uh, it can look pretty nice depending on how you know uh, the software. Not photorealistic, but very nice. And it's very intuitive to use. Uh, there's also, essentially with Pro Landscape software, um, four to five different sub software programs within them. What I mean by that is the main Pro Landscape software that, I, that typically people use to do plans are is Pro Landscape Planner. However, you also have Pro Landscape Image Editor, Pro Landscape Proposal, Pro Landscape 3D, which is again not as great as SketchUp, but it's there for you to use. And they all communicate with each other. And the thing that's the best advantage about Pro Landscape software is that it has a dedicated plant library for you to use. So the plant library is pretty extensive. You can add into it. Uh, yourself so you can actually increase the plant library if you want it and it's very similar to AutoCAD but made for the landscape professional. The other big advantage is it's very affordable compared to its cousins AutoCAD and uh, what we'll see Vectorworks. Uh, a lot of the uh, pro landscape functionality is there for you but at a more, much more affordable price. You, you do give up 
um, some rendering capabilities. You don't get the same amount of or quality of image uh, with Pro Landscape software. But if you're primarily a, you know, a small designer doing uh, residential garden designs, or maybe you're just starting out and you don't want to upgrade to some of these larger, more expensive softwares, Pro Landscape is a great place to start. And you can actually grow your business quite large just using Pro Landscape itself. Another reason that I like Pro Landscape is the on-site consultation version of it. Now, if you're in a landscape architecture studio or you're at a, a larger firm, you don't necessarily go out to the client and do a design that day in front of them to look out ideas or work out ideas. But for a garden designer or a landscape designer, you actually might do that. You might go out to a site and sketch an idea for them or get their idea uh, themselves of, of what they're looking for. And what's really nice about the Pro Landscape software is you can cr have like a, a tablet with you, an iPad, um, something that even a computer that just a laptop that you want to bring with you and you could take a picture of their property on site and very quickly within a matter of 20 minutes have a design with pricing set for them uh, ready to go uh, and they can make a decision right there. So the ability to do that within Pro Landscape software as opposed to having AutoCAD and you know drafting a plan and sending it to them and having them uh, see the proposal. the the efficiency of that within Pro Landscape software is fabulous and something that I think is worth exploring even if you're not uh, interested in starting your own business just for residential design. Now, the big disadvantage of Pro Landscape software is it doesn't have the same functionality of AutoCAD, it doesn't have the same functionality of Vectorworks, which I'll, I'll take a look at in a second, um, but it's very useful for what it does and I think it's worth knowing or at least exploring for your professional career. Um, so the fourth program that I think is very useful for you to know is not really one program but a series of programs and that's the Adobe Suite software. Now there's some key softwares within the Adobe Suite. Now obviously most people understand Adobe Acrobat, uh, Adobe Professional for PDF versions and PDF editing, um, but there's also Adobe Photoshop. So Adobe Photoshop is the key one for uh, image editing, uh, creating perspectives, photorealistic designs for your clients, beautiful images that you can save as JPEGs or TIFFs or PNG files that you can then display to clients digitally or print out and have on boards. Adobe Photoshop is fabulous for that version. You can use um, AutoCAD plans, import them into Adobe Photoshop, use SketchUp uh, images, import them into Adobe Photoshop, and then render right into Photoshop uh, and create really beautiful drawings and with an, an artistry that is like none other. If you've seen other videos on the channel, you know that I actually use Adobe Photoshop quite a bit. So I might bring in an image of a property and draw over it on my design. That's done in Photoshop on a tablet. So Adobe Photoshop is a very good software to know. Again, the advantage of, uh, of Adobe Photoshop is the photorealism of it. It's really high quality editing that you can get. Um, the real disadvantage of Adobe Photoshop is the cost. Um, you know, it might not be worth uh, you know, $30, $40 a month for a license uh, if you're not going to use it that much. Also, um, it's not made specifically for the landscape industry. So if you don't know Adobe Photoshop and you're sort of dabbling in it, but you don't necessarily need to do perspectives um, or render plans because you have other softwares to do that, like AutoCAD, then maybe Adobe Photoshop isn't for you. It's not made for the landscape industry, but it's very useful for it. So you can create a number of really good quality graphic images with it, but it might not necessarily meet all your needs. And for the price, it might not be worth it. Now, Adobe also offers a couple other programs. Uh, Illustrator, which does a lot of the same things as Adobe Photoshop, but it's a vector-based program, meaning that the quality of the lines is much more uh, accurate than you would get in Photoshop, so it's good for editing plans. And then there's also Adobe InDesign, which is absolutely fabulous. It's how I've created all my portfolios. It's really good for mocking up books, publications, portfolios for clients, uh, booklets, brochures, anything that's marketing. Again, it's not photo editing, it's more layout and publication uh, development, uh, but it's very useful for that. So those three programs in the Adobe Suite are definitely things to take a look at. There's some other Adobe programs like After Effects, which is like a video editing software that you might find useful, but uh, again, the learning curve for what you use it for might not be worth it for a new landscape design professional. And now the very last one that I want to talk about is Vectorworks. Now Vectorworks, um, specifically the, the sort of landmark software, is kind of like 
all of these other softwares rolled into one. It does very good plan views like AutoCAD. It can do very good photorealistic renderings like Photoshop. It can do three dimensionality like SketchUp and it can also do plant libraries. It has a pretty good extensive plant library for landscape professionals like Pro Landscape. Um, and because of that, it is a very useful software for landscape professionals and garden design professionals. But also because of that, it doesn't necessarily stay on the radar for a lot of the industry because some of the industry is tied with AutoCAD. So typically with landscape architects, you're going to know AutoCAD and Photoshop and SketchUp and some other three-dimensional softwares that I'll talk about in a second. And for the residential side, you typically are the typical garden designer, landscape design professional side, you'll typically use like Pro Landscape or another program like Dynascape or Hand Drawing. And so Vectorworks kind of gets caught in the middle, but it's a very useful software. It's something that you definitely should explore. Um, and it's kind of all those wrapped into one. And it's definitely one uh, on the top of my list for if I have to give students the next one to learn after the first four that I gave, it would be Vectorworks. So make sure you take a look at that again. I'll link in the bottom. Now, the last softwares that are kind of the ancillary softwares uh, or additional ones that you might look at are really photorealistic or rendering software. So Lumion is really uh, the, the gold standard right now for uh, rendering really great photorealistic images and videos. Um, there's another free version, um, uh, very similar to Lumion, but less functionality and obviously less expensive, called Twinmotion, uh, which can also do really good texture uh, development, material development within a plan or a perspective view. Um, outside of those, if you're looking for more of the pro landscape route, but not necessarily the pro landscape software, a Dynascape is a software that's available. Unilock has its own sort of um, uh, three-dimensional plan view software uh, that is available as well for landscape professionals to dabble in. But again, for your specific uh, professional business or your academic needs, you kind of want to sift out what you're looking for. Are you looking for professional capacities to make sure that you get a very realistic uh, metric on your dimensions so that you can price it for a client? Or are you going more for a studio uh, atmosphere where you're doing a project for a class and maybe you don't necessarily need to know all the nuts and bolts of how something is priced, but you want to make the best cr graphic quality that you can. So maybe the UVision software or the um, Dynascape software might not be for you, but you're going to look at the Lumion or Twinmotion and do a really knock up uh, job on, on your graphics for that class. So think about which one you want to use and then uh, sort of look accordingly. But all of them can be uh, just, you go to the websites, all of them can be looked at and downloaded for free uh, for a trial so you can test them out. Uh, depending on the specific uh, quality of the program or the uh, computer hardware requirements, you may need a dedicated computer for rendering some of the images or videos that you're using because you'll even see in a program as simple as SketchUp, uh, very easy to use when you're doing a lot of three-dimensional animations, uh, it can clog up your computer um, uh, even with a really good graphics card quite quickly. So you might have to have a dedicated computer just for rendering uh, those images. So those are the softwares. Again, um, there's a, a lot to learn. There's no one silver bullet for the landscape industry. So you want to make sure you look at whatever's available for your specific needs. But don't forget, this is a hand drawing channel. And I love teaching uh, the artistry of uh, illustration with your hands. And nothing is ever going to beat the quality or craftsmanship or personality of you doing it yourself. So make sure you also look at some of the videos on using hand drafting for your professional business business that I've posted uh, before. If you like the videos, if you like the content on the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you at the next video.